Okay, so you might be having trouble downloading music to your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod in fact. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to open up iTunes. Make sure at this point that your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod is unplugged from the computer. Okay, once iTunes fires up, then if it tells you to download an update, well, it's up to you whether you want to download it or not. Um, then, next thing we need to do is open up the iPhone, iPod or iPad and just make sure it's unlocked. So type in your code or uh, use your Touch ID to unlock it and then plug it into the computer using the USB lightning cable. Okay, so it tells me that there's an update available. Now, I don't wanna do this at the moment. I'm just gonna left click cancel on this. This might or might not come up on yours. Okay, so leave it a few seconds. Um, now, what we're looking for is this here, this actual picture of an iPhone, iPad or iPod. Move a mouse over it and left click once. Okay, and then we move our mouse down to music and we need to make sure there's a tick next to sync music. Now we've got a few options here. We can say we wanna sync the entire music library, but if perhaps we don't have enough space on our iPod, iPad or iPhone, then we can say we just wanna sync selected playlist artists or albums. So we can just say, right, okay, I want all songs say by Alexander O'Neill. So I tick that and it says there it's gonna sync 15 songs by Alexander O'Neill. Or if we've got playlists on the computer, then we can sync certain playlists. Or we can scroll down here and we can say, right, okay, we just want certain albums or certain genres. So we can just tick what we want, basically. So say if I wanted just Alexander O'Neill's Greatest Hits, I can tick that and uh, I can tick more. So if I wanted Curiosity, Kill the Cat, so uh, tick that as well. Once you've ticked all that you want to tick, then move your mouse over Apply and left click and then left click done. This will now sync to the, uh, the device. So it says up here, it's syncing to Chris's iPad. Okay, it might take a little while to sync. Um, just let it sync and uh, once it's done, then uh, unplug the iPad, iPod or iPhone and uh, you should be able to get to your music. If there's any other problems getting your music across, obviously first of all, make sure that it plays in iTunes. So go into the album in iTunes and just click the tracks that you want. As you can see, it's playing there, so that's fine. I'm gonna try another track, left click that. Yep, that's playing. Okay, so as you can see, um, that's playing. But if that wasn't to play, then you'd need to re-import the song into iTunes. Okay, this is just a brief guide on what, you know, that might, may help you transfer your stuff. It might not solve all problems, but I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.